Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. The first one is basically a little conditioning check of Rubiel Mosquera at like 10 days out of a UK or Europa Pro show. As you guys already know, he's skipping Italy Pro. He announced he was gonna do it and he pulled out after realizing that Hunter would most likely destroy him on that stage. And I think at this point pretty much everybody would agree with that. I mean, his coach uh, Francisco Aspin and Rubial, I guess, realized this and they decided to skip this show. Which is a controversial decision, but let's be real. I mean, it's a logical decision. Why would he waste a peak week and trouble himself by traveling and, you know, peaking twice in two weeks in order to lose again? and play second at the very best and also be less conditioned than he would be at a UK show which is one week later I supported this decision I'm sure it was very difficult for him to make it because he probably knows what people are gonna say but I still think he made the right decision anyways we got this little I don't know he was doing a health check and we can see his physique not really in the poses but we can get an idea of what his conditioning looks like right now at 10 days out of Europa Pro so the question is really, did he improve his conditioning from Dubai Pro? I mean, at this point, I, he's not flexing, but I think we can still get a pretty good idea. He does not look super shredded. You know, I don't see him being a crazy amount improved from Dubai Pro. I don't know why. I don't know if he's really pushing for conditioning, if his coach is pushing him. Or is he just cruising and he's gonna try to repeat the same look from Dubai Pro? Which, I don't think it makes a lot of sense. Maybe he's pushing for conditioning, but stuff is not happening for some reason. But I definitely don't see much of an improvement conditioning-wise. I don't think his skin is like any thinner. I don't see any more details, any more hardness. You know, he looks pretty much the same. He did uh, four weeks ago. Why is this? I don't know. I don't think Nexilla has uh, like a genetic problem like Samson, for example. It's not like he has thick skin in his glutes or something like that. His fat is very evenly distributed. Like everything is uh, just as lean as the other body part. And like he has good striations in the glutes and hamstrings. And lower back is also like very dry. So it's not like he has any stubborn areas. He just needs to get overall tighter. And I don't know what kind of approach he had for the Dubai Pro. Was he doing a ton of cardio and he just couldn't lose the weight, couldn't lose the fat? Was he maxing out on like fat burners? Was he on like a zero carbs for weeks before the show? Was he prepping for long enough? I don't know any of that. But my impression is that he just didn't push too hard. I think he started prepping kind of late and he just didn't have enough time to get in good condition. But then he had five weeks, actually six weeks, from Dubai Pro to UK. And what did he do in the past four weeks? Did his conditioning change a lot? I definitely don't see it. I mean, maybe he's flat here, and once he carves up and maybe dehydrates a little, maybe he's holding a lot of water, for example. Once he does that and, uh, you know, puts the tan on and the oil and uh, he's under the lights, maybe we will see the change. Maybe he will be conditioned, really conditioned. But I honestly doubt it. Based on this look right now, I don't see it. The question is now, if he is not, like, really conditioned, and I'm not even talking about some crazy high level of conditioning, I'm just talking, you know, if he's on, compared to Dubai Pro where he was off, like, if he is not more conditioned than Dubai, can he beat Patrick Moore? That's his main competition right now. Now, this is Patrick Moore 14 weeks ago, so 16 weeks out of the UK. Now, I don't know what he looks like, we got a couple of snippets from some videos, but the main thing I want to point out here is, did Patrick Moore make progress? I mean, Patrick Moore won pro shows. He was 10th at a Mr. Olympia in 2019. And uh, after that, he never really brought it. Like, he was also very, very off at some shows. I think he was prepping alone. Now he has a coach, as you can see, Dom Cardone. And they did an off-season, a complete off-season. Now they're prepping. And I think Patrick actually did make progress. Not a ton of progress, he, he can't match Nexilla, especially not in the legs, that's, that's Patrick's weakest area and that's uh, Nexilla's strongest one, so Nexilla is gonna dwarf this guy, that's for sure, I just wonder how much did Patrick improve, I think he did gain like, I don't know, 10 pounds of muscle, something like that maybe, we'll see, but conditioning wise it's him right now. 
So, yeah, I think he's in shape. I think he's lean, you know, lean enough. We'll see what he's gonna look like after the peak week, though. I don't know what Don Cardone is like uh, peak week-wise. Is, is he, like, peaking his guys hard? Like, is he dehydrating them a lot and, like, doing some kind of crazy stuff that makes your physique look ten times better? Or is he just gonna cruise Patrick to the show the way he is right here? But in any case, I think Patrick is more conditioned. I just wonder how big of a gap in size will it be in that comparison, on that stage, but... You know, I feel like Nexilla is probably gonna win because he's, like, super, super enormous. And, uh, yeah, Patrick is probably bringing better conditioning. You know, he needs to be really shredded, really, truly ripped to maybe win against Nexilla. If he's not, like, diced, I don't see it happening. Unless Nexilla is, like, worse than Dubai. But whatever you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, the next thing we got is also very, very interesting. It's Martin Fitzwater at 8 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, so this is not current, this is not from today, it is uh, like 2 weeks ago, at 8 weeks out, but I really don't have any doubts that Martin is gonna be in condition, you know, he is one of those guys with super crazy metabolism, like, they don't have to suffer too much to get in shape, they don't have to go like super low on calories or like super high on cardio, they can just, you know, just eat basically comfortably and get peeled, and if they need to push a little bit towards the end, that's fine. So I'm pretty sure Martin is going to be shredded. So, you know, conditioning at eight weeks out, it's not really what we need to talk about here. What I wanted to show you guys is, you know, the size. Did he make even more progress since the New York Pro? Because he says he did. He basically says that he is like, I think, six or eight pounds heavier than he was before the New York Pro at the same body fat percent. So how much better can he be on the Mr. Olympic compared to New York Pro? I think he can be better. I think he can be bigger. And I think I'm seeing a little bit of a change in his physique. I think his arms, especially, are looking thicker, rounder, bigger. I mean, he definitely made a lot of progress in those arms in that, like, one year and a half long off season. I think his arms doubled in size, basically. I even accused him of using a little bit of uh, SEOs. I don't know if he is, I believe he is, a small amount, you know, just enough not to be noticeable, not to see anything weird, because it looked like he gained like 3 inches in, in, in a year and a half, which doesn't happen, you know, that, which just doesn't occur, so I'm pretty sure he did something to those biceps and triceps, and he did it properly, because it's, it's pretty much impossible to see, it's just a crazy growth, and it's happening so fast, and here I think his arms are even bigger, I think his lats are maybe even thicker, I don't know about the legs, I can't see them, but I think he's just overall, you know, bigger, thicker, and once he gets completely shredded, he's gonna be crazy to look at. Look at that hamstring here, man, like, that's something you don't see very often, and once he stands next to Andrew Jack, he's going to expose him in this pose. Like, I don't really see him beating Andrew Jack, because Andrew Jack is, like, crazy impressive from many angles, in many poses, but he's going to lose the side chest against Martin and many other people as well. Now, Martin, in this pose, like, that hamstring drop, it's just crazy thick, like, he has so much muscle there, and everywhere, really, like, he's very round, very complete, you know, very proportionate as well, and he has pretty good aesthetics, too, so if he brings conditioning, which I know he will do, I can see him as high as, as, as potentially, like, a sixth, even, maybe, you know, seventh, sixth, but I think more realistically, eighth, and that's a great success for his first Mr. Olympia. I definitely don't see him below 8, maybe even higher than that, whatever you guys think, tell me down below. And we also got a little physique update from Wesley Wissers at 6 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, he posted this a couple of days ago, and honestly guys, I don't know if there are any bodybuilders today with this much separation in their shoulders, you know, Wesley is definitely not pinning those delts, he is definitely putting all of his gear somewhere else. I don't know where, but definitely not in the delts, because those delts are freaking shredded. Like, you can see every single fiber there. And, like, his wee taper in this pose, it's also very impressive. His conditioning for six weeks out is very good. You know, we'll see what he's gonna look like on that day on the stage, but he plans on being even more conditioned than he was at the Arnold Classic. So if he brings even crazier conditioning with his shape, with his classic lines... Can he win against freaking Chris Bumstead? Can he win the Mr. Olympia? 
I don't think so. I definitely don't see that happening. I think Wesley has a little bit too, way too many flaws compared to Chris, who is basically almost perfect in all the classic shots. And this is also his conditioning right now. Somehow I skipped this. I didn't realize this is recent. So I didn't make a video about it, unfortunately. But yeah, I, I had to show it to you guys now and tell you what I think. And, you know, he is looking really conditioned, Chris Bumps, that is right now at like six weeks out of Mr. Olympia. He has that hardness, you know, that fullness. He's already very, very hard. And it's crazy because basically he's not really pushing anything much in the off season. He only does that kind of stuff when he's prepping. So I don't think he improved his physique much, but it feels like this year he might peak really well. Last year he was, well, I wouldn't say he was off, but he was not as good as he was the year before. 2022 was his absolute best ever when he prepped with Honey Rambert. Last year, you know, he was good. He was still good enough, but he wasn't as hard. This year, if everything goes well, and if he's looking like this right now, and if he's truly retiring when he turns 30, which makes this year his last Mr. Olympia year, I feel like we're gonna see the best ever Chris Bumstead this year. But I could be wrong. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much guys for watching. All the best and bye-bye.